Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this natural everyday wear makeup look. And I hope you guys like it. No, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome to my first Halloween tutorial this year. I think Halloween is a great time to be creative, to be fun, and to just dress however you want to dress and just express yourself. And that should be always. This is definitely something out of my comfort zone, but like RuPaul says, to use all the colors in the crayon box. And if you guys want to see how to get the look, then stay tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I already did my base and my eyebrows. I did my makeup a little bit more dramatic because this half is going to be drag and then this half is going to be well dead. Very that. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. I'm going to be taking my Night Moth um, pencil by now and I'm going to go ahead and sketch out a new crease. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my Sigma E54 Medium Super Blending Brush. My lightest purple, I'm going to be using my Iridescent Purple by Anastasia and just place that over the crease. Oh my God, I'm going to add some powder underneath because I do not want any fallout. So I'm going to be taking the F89 Baked Kabuki brush from Sigma. Now I'm going to be taking my Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. This palette is actually so cute. It's very pigmented. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the crease with some cream concealer. So now that my creases are cut, I'm going to go ahead and place pink champagne on the lid. I'm also going to be placing a hint of lavender in the outer part of my So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild White Eyeliner and I'm just going to be going underneath my waterline. I'm just going to go ahead and be using the Elf Intense Ink Liner for a wing and I'll be right back. I'm going to move on and go ahead and sketch out where I'm going to have the skeleton sketch aligned. The center. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we don't need this brow anymore. It's going to be covered up anyways with white paint and black. So might as well take it off. So is the hardest part for me. <laughs> I'm also gonna sketch out where I want my eye to be, so. So for the Grease Paint Clown White Makeup by Krylon, I'm going to be, um, Using these wedge sponges you can literally get for a dollar. And these are really good for, to use for this type of makeup in particular. I'm kind of avoiding like this area and this area because I'm just going to fill it in with black anyway. So I'm just using my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder and just on a powder puff, just locking in everything in place. Okay, 
Okay, so I just got this like black cream makeup at like a Halloween store. Honestly guys, I just don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it in the spirit of the moment. Be easy on me, I've never done this makeup before, so first time for everything, right? Oh yeah, give me a new doll line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just draw a straight line out and connect it to the gray. For the teeth, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Intense Liner in um, the Blackest Black, I think it's called. Details to the skull, add a little cracks here and there. Go ahead and go in with some black eyeshadow and a um, blending brush and go in and deepen and darken everything. Make it super black. And this also sets in a um, grease. Going in with some purple. paints from Michaels and they are washable. So I'm going to add blue first. Okay, purple glitter. Okay, so this half the face is pretty much Done. I'm going to work on the beauty part of the face. I'm going to be taking this like NYX blush. Just a little blush. I'm going to go ahead and add lashes and I'll be right back. So for the lips, I'm going to take Night Moth again. Own It by Sigma. Oh my god, wait. Before I go, highlight of course. I'm going to do a quick little costume change into... Alana, and I'll be right back. Hi guys, so here is the finished look. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. It is so crazy and um, I'm really happy. So thank you guys so much for your continuous love and support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a very safe and happy Halloween. Bye.